Hey, Brayden. Hey. So I'm doing a YouTube video. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, so this is day one of what you learned about your black history. So do you remember who Martin Luther King Jr. is? Yeah. Okay, who is he and what did he do? What did you learn about him? I learned about him how he he um he couldn't be able to, to he couldn't be able to talk to white people and he had to uh, make his ice cream be melted and all of the other white people get to be inside the ice cream place and brown people have to uh, sit outside where ice cream smell and um, I even learned about how Martin Luther the King he died and then do you remember how he told you about the water fountains in the bathrooms yeah what and did he what did he say what did he tell you he said that um that we could use all the same bathrooms but um and we could even go to all different schools i mean not different schools of white people's schools but white people could kicked us out of their school and didn't let us get to use their bathroom or drink the mountain water. They had to make us go all the way over there to drink the water and use the bathroom and go to the schools. Yes, that's absolutely true. And, and what? And then um, he, he told all of the other, he told the white people and black people that we're all going to be friends and we're never going to uh, uh, be mean to black people or white people. We're going to get to know our children. Yes, and he said that in his speech. Do you remember what his speech was called? Mm, no. I have. I have a dream. Yes, good job. He said, I have a dream that little black boys and little black girls will come together and rise in the nations and there will be no hate. I'm so very proud of you. Very, very good. Thank you, Mommy. What color are you? Uh, black. Your color is brown. I'm brown. But you are a black person. But just I'm... like me. What color am I? You're brown, but you're just a, a black person. Yes, and do we hate white people? No. No, we love everybody, no matter what color they are, right? Right, and so for is it white, black, any type of color except for thick brown we love other people too exactly and if we decide to not be somebody's friend it's not because the color of their skin right what would it be because if you said i'm not going to be their friend why wouldn't you be someone's friend because they're they're white and they're black and that's why they're not going to be your friend no i'm not talking about in the old days i'm talking about right now you if you decided today to not be somebody's friend, what would be the reason? Um, not because of the color of their skin, but because they're what? It's because... Um, they're mean to you. They're disrespectful to you. They don't treat you right. They're mean and they're disrespectful. Yes. And let's tell them about Rosa Parks. Do you remember what Rosa Parks did? Yeah, so Marvin Luther King said... Hey, get up out the seat. So no, Martin Luther King didn't say that to her. You're getting confused. This has nothing to do with Martin Luther King. A white person told her, a white man told Rosa Parks to get out of her seat. So go ahead. So, uh, Martin Luther King. No, a white person. It has nothing to do with Martin Luther King. A white person. A white person, uh, told the, um, um to rosa parks rosa parks to uh get out her seat and then rosa parks said no and then what happened after that and um then so um one of the the white men said everybody is going to get out the bus and we're all going to help and take of our um, trash is out. Trash? Yeah. Mm, 
No, that's not quite. I think he's confused on this. I personally did not teach him about Rosa Parks. His teacher did once at school. So I'm going to brush him up on that. And we will be back for more so that you guys can learn about or you guys can see what he learned about. But I definitely did teach him about Martin Luther King. And you see with Martin, he was more on it. He was more in, um, informed, educated. So I will have to definitely brush him up. But hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye. Now here we are back in February at a Black History Museum where I took my son to show him the paintings on the walls and explain to him what they mean. There were lots of other Black people there. It was actually a really cool event with food and music and other things too. Hi, Brayden. Hi. So we are approaching the end of Black History Month. And we are going to talk about what you've learned so far about your black history, all right? All right. All right, let's go. So, do you remember what slavery is? Yes. Okay, can you tell me what slavery is? Yes. Go ahead. So, slavery is about how black people made, no, it's about white people made the black people work very hard for them. Right. And do you remember what the black people had to do when they were working very hard? The different things they had to do, the different jobs? Yes, they had to pick up cotton all day in the hot sun. Yeah. And were they able to take breaks and stop? No. And if they complained and they said, Whew, I'm tired or I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, what would happen? White people uh, will beat you or maybe kill you absolutely very very good and do you remember how the slaves would escape like when they would escape from the white people to get away from them what they would do yes what would they do they will run away from the white people and then the white people would get upset yes that is very true and what about families if you were with your mom and your dad with the white owners still separate you or would they let you guys stay together uh they will own you so would they separate you guys or would they let you guys stay together uh they will um not let you stay together very good very good okay and let's talk about Madam C.J. Walker. Do you remember who Madam C.J. Walker was and what she did? Yes, I remember. She did is taught everybody how to do their own hair. Good job. Very good. And what else did she do? She made products and uh, did her hair. Yes, yes, she did because a lot of black women, they didn't have hair products and they didn't know how to do their own hair. So she made hair products for them and she taught them how to do their hair and she opened up lots of schools to teach all the black women how to do their hair. Kids have to been taking away and working very hard even for more white people. Yes, 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 that is very, very true. And... People were crying because they couldn't get their kids back. Mm-hmm. Yep. And why did these white people do all these terrible things? Because people were black. Yeah, but you know why really they did it? Just because they were evil. They just had evil in their hearts. Because it doesn't matter if you're black, if you're white, if you're red, if you're yellow. A good person, they're going to love so those people had lots of hatred and evil in their hearts. Is there anything else that you learned about your black history before we close out this video? Yes, I learned about how dude, he was standing up on a thing and he was so tall and the white people said, dang, he's so tall. And then um, he was trying to give his friends a hug, but then the white people started to grab him and snatch him away from the other kids. Yes, yes. He's talking about slave trade and slave buying when they would put them up on a pedestal and they would look at the slave, examine them, and they would...
decide if they want that slave or not. And then when the slave would try to give their family or friends a hug and say bye, they would not let that happen. So, but yeah, well, if there's nothing else that you want to say, we're going to close out this video. All right. Well, bye, guys. Thank you for listening for my channel. Bye-bye.